think the science is so underrated. And I think today, especially coming from developing nations, culturally, everybody wants to be an engineer or you want to be a doctor. But those things cannot exist without sciences. And geosciences really integrate so much chemistry and physics and math and biology into it. Blah, 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 blah. Don't be afraid of the sciences. I was terrible at chemistry at school. Even if you don't like a science, Sometimes applying the sciences and putting it in a real case scenario where you can solve a problem makes the sciences much more exciting. I'm Dr. Aisha Swady. I'm an associate professor in earth sciences at Philippe University in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. I work primarily on Southern Hemisphere records of the early Jurassic was about 180 million years ago and we look at how volcanism and, and these massive eruptions on earth impacted climate and the environment. My research matters because today we're facing so many challenges related to anthropogenically induced climate and environmental and ecosystem change and we have this problem that if we don't understand what happened in the past and how the earth responded in the past then definitely we won't be able to adapt and understand how our world is changing around us today. So my mum is English and my dad is Emirati and my parents met when my dad was studying in the UK to become an engineer. Growing up in the culture that I had, I had two sets of grandparents who both really, really enjoyed nature, but from very different perspectives. So my Arab grandfather was very much into the sea and the desert and my English grandparents were very much into the hillsides and the forests and the trees. Their passion for the outdoors was really very important in shaping my career because it really kind of gave me that passion for being outdoors. But I am a power lifter, whether that's rocks in a backpack or a heavy barbell. Somebody said the great thing about powerlifting is it's kind of like you are lifting up this huge problem and at some point you're able to put it back down and I'm very have to be very focused and I found everything gets cleared out of my brain for these 10 seconds that I lift this thing up off the ground and that's very rewarding. I love everything about my work I like the unknownness of it if that's the word in the sort of you're looking in deep time so it's one of the few sciences where you can really engage your imagination in, and creative side and kind of artistic side into thinking about the sciences because you're thinking about a time period which looks like today in terms of the earth as a planet and the climate as a system and the oceans as a system but everything about it is completely different so it's almost like looking at another planet and so you really have to engage your imagination and then apply sciences to that to kind of bring the stories to life and bring the science to life and if you ask them, well, have you thought about the earth sciences? They would all say, no, why would I do that? And then when you start to explain what it is, it's this integration of sciences um, and it combines all of the things that they've just said that they love, then they have this aha moment. And so I think people really need to explore beyond, beyond the known. So, um, and I think the earth sciences lets you do that.